you know, even through all the craziness and stuff, he he come to me and he was crying and he told me, he said, you know, he said, I'm going to get that son of a bitch. And he's speaking of Max Mays. Um, he wouldn't have told me this yeah. if it wasn't the truth. Um, I can tell you that Letty was the one that her parents owed money to. And it wasn't $135, it was $130. And Max Mays is the one that done it. Hey. I can tell you that Letty mm -hmm. lives in Big Springs. Is and she, she's a big time lady. And Letty made it very clear to these guys that she was tired of people taking advantage of her and that this would be an example of what would happen if these son of a bitches didn't come up with some money. And I'm talking about Haley. Oh, okay, because they didn't pay her that money, okay. Ah, I see. Over $130 that girl was killed so that word would get out, look here, you know, all you son of a bitches, um, if I'm going to do it for $130 and it's going to be the woman's daughter, don't think you won't be had for the 5000 that you owe me or how much ever everybody owes. Yeah. Who all did you hear was there? Um, Casey Frazier, uh, Dustin Braddock, David Allison, Max Mays. According to the affidavit, Sean Adkins abruptly quit his job on the day Haley disappeared. He told investigators he left his job and went directly to his mother's home in Big Spring. However, the affidavit says cell phone pings taken from his phone indicated he first made a stop in Colorado City, where Haley was last seen. It also says that same evening, Adkins and Dunn made a trip to Snyder, where they withdrew $140 to purchase drugs.